Welcome back to MTFC TV. Joining me this time is new signing, Ross Durant. Ross, how does it feel to be a Matlock Town player? Yeah, good. Um, spoken to Frex the last couple of days and uh, yeah, it, it, no, it's been good. Um, known him from before, so um, played here a couple of times, played against the club a couple of times, so I know it's a good club and um, now I've made the right decision, so that's the, that's the main thing. Obviously, you've got quite the fight on your hands for that number one jersey with Richard Walton and Jordan Pierpont. Do you feel you've got enough to take the number one jersey and make it your own? Um, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, I think I have, yeah. Um, obviously, you know, I, it's not my sort of style to talk about the other lads and stuff. I just kind of get on with what I, with what I do. Um, work with the guys tonight out there and it's, it's been good. Um, really good session. And uh, the standard's really high, so I think that you know it, it pushes you to be to be better. And sometimes when the standards aren't so good, it, um, you sort of drop your own. Um, so when you're training with good keepers, you're more than more than likely going to be a bit more competitive. And, and it's, it can't, you know it's not a bad thing to, to have your standards tested. So it's good here. Yeah. I believe on Tuesday we play North Ferriby United, which is one of your old teams. Is that what in particular you're looking forward to and hoping to be between the sticks more? Uh, yeah. Of course, yeah, I had, a, I had a great year there last year, um, captain the side and it was a difficult time for the club but I mean uh, it was a brilliant club, did a lot for me, um, fans were brilliant, um, you know the, the owners the, the, and the staff were brilliant, all the players and everything, we had a really good go, it was a shame obviously, got relegated but that's how it had to be um, and yeah, I mean it, it's all, it always happens like that doesn't it, but as soon as you sign for a new club you, you're bound to play your old team. Um, pretty soon so uh, I'm definitely looking forward to it though definitely looking forward to going back you had a loan spell with Sheffield FC I believe yeah. fairly recently yeah it's, that may have just ended don't ended quote me on that yeah. well me sources tell me correct <laughs> um, so you know the sort of level in and around this is do you feel compared to the level you played at does it, it match very similar or um, I mean I've got a lot of experience at um, this level the one above and obviously um, the one below now experience sort of step two, step three, step four um, and there's not a huge difference between all of them maybe a little bit of quality, a little bit of pace um, it's always competitive there's never any teams you can just turn up and beat um, but I think you know we've got the makings of a good team I, I know a few of the lads uh, here from previous spells at different clubs and all of that and it's definitely a good squad that can that, that at the wrong end as, as it Obviously, as it's going, but definitely got loads of potential to, to be up there. It's still early on, it's still September, so it'll be fine. Well, with Sheffield FC, I think they've got a, a good number of ex-Matlock players there. Did you ever speak to them beforehand coming here, or was um, it something you kept to yourself? I saw, yeah, I kept it to myself, and it's only been really sort of um, concrete the last couple of days. Really, it's not it's not been something that has, has been in the pipeline for weeks and weeks and weeks. It's just been something that. Um, Sort of, I spoke to Frex and we, we kept in touch a little bit over the, over the last year and stuff and see how we both got on on, on the days. Um, but yeah, I mean, as soon as I sort of told them, um, I know a couple of guys down there, obviously there's, there's uh, Mark Newsham, Jamie Yates, who are um, ex Matlock players and obviously Jamie coaches and stuff. Likes the club and only got good things to say about it. So, you know, it was a, I think it's a good decision to, to get down here. So. Right, finish you off as the breeze is kicking up and I'm getting quite cold myself. <laughs> is there a message you have for Matlock Town fans? Um, I just think hopefully we're going to turn it around pretty soon. Um, start getting up the right end of the table. So, yeah, I think it'll be uh, it'll be good to watch over the, over the next few months. So. Right, thank you very much, Ross Brilliant. Cheers, guys. Cheers, mate.